Hello, and welcome to Piping Up. We're really glad to have you with us today. This show is presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square and streams live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Mountain Time on the Tabernacle Choir's website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel, and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org. Episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing on Facebook and YouTube following the live stream. You can find out more information about Piping Up, including downloadable program listings for this week's episodes at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Our featured organist is Andrew Unsworth, and his first piece will be the Allegro movement from Tommaso Albinoni's Concerto in F Major, arranged for organ by Johann Walter. That was the Allegro from Albanoni's Concerto in F Major. Now, many of you will recognize the name of the Italian late Baroque composer Tommaso Albinoni from the well-known Adagio for Organ and Strings in G Minor, which ironically was not written by Albinoni at all. That work was composed by Remo Giazzotto, Albinoni's 20th century biographer and published in 1958 under Albinoni's name. Bad form even if it's a nice piece of music. So it's refreshing to hear some real Albinoni for a change. Thank you, Andrew, for bringing that to us. Next, we'll hear J.S. Bach's Prelude in A Major, a brief little prelude, only 32 measures long, that shows the influence of Bach's mentor, Dietrich Buxtehude, in its figurations.
This is Piping Up. These organ concerts are streamed live from Temple Square every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at noon Mountain Time, right here where you're watching us now. Not many people, I would guess, think of Beethoven as a significant composer for the organ, and with good reason. It was in the symphony, concerto, piano sonata and string quartet that Beethoven excelled. But don't forget that Beethoven started out as an organist. When he was only 12 years old, he was employed at the court of the Elector of Bonn and as a church organist for the six o'clock mass on Sundays. He was reportedly an excellent improviser on the organ and continued to love and play the organ periodically throughout his life. It's not too much of a stretch, perhaps, to claim that Beethoven's entire career as a composer was grounded in this early mastery of the organ. The legato style of piano playing deep into the key bed of the instrument that Beethoven developed in his piano sonatas is, of course, standard practice among organists. His slow movements yearn for an organ-like sustaining of tone. The contrapuntal rigor and fugato passages in his late works reveal his reverence for Bach, the organist. It's sometimes said that Beethoven treated the piano as a surrogate orchestra, might he not have treated it and the string quartet and the orchestra as a surrogate organ instead? Beethoven published no organ music, but it would be a mistake to think there was no organ in Beethoven's music. It's a similar matter when we assume that we know someone's character or personality or think others know us when judged only by what is readily apparent. As the Old Testament reminds us, man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So, to help us see Beethoven's organist heart a little more clearly, Andrew Unsworth will now play the Largo movement of the Piano Sonata Opus 2, Number 2, transcribed for organ by William Thomas Best.
That was the Preludium in F by Christian Rink, a contemporary of Beethoven and a very influential figure in German and later French organ music during the 19th century. Andrew will now perform his own arrangement of the pioneer hymn, Come, Come Ye Saints, followed by his prelude on Prospect of Heaven, an old American hymn tune first published in William Walker's Southern Harmony of 1835 and attributed to the Reverend Andrew Grambling of South Carolina. Many of you will recognize this tune as the melody to the hymn, This Earth Was Once a Garden Place, a favorite hymn of early Latter-day Saint pioneer leaders. And then Andrew will close the program with a cheerful serving of John Philip Sousa, his astronomically named Transit of Venus March.
We just heard now the Transit of Venus March by John Philip Sousa, written in 1883 and named for the transit of Venus across the face of the sun in December of the previous year. The US Congress funded no less than eight separate expeditions to observe that event. <laughs> it must have been impressive. Zeus's march didn't fare so well. It never really caught on and was thought lost until a copy was unearthed in the Library of Congress just before the 2004 transit of Venus, and Zeus's march was then given a new life. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Piping Up, featuring Andrew Unsworth at the Conference Center Organ. For more inspiring organ music, you can view episodes of Piping Up on Facebook and YouTube, and you're always welcome to join us for the live stream of these concerts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Mountain Time on the Tabernacle Choir's website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel, and on broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.